and then I have to quit the game. And Katana's <laughs> almost of Tsushima historically accurate studied samurai technique down to the idol, to the positioning, hmm. to the switching of the blade when moving. It's actually beautiful and you don't realize how wrong everybody in the blades have been swinging samurai up until this point. And just another brilliant mod that once hey, again highlights just how much work there still is apparently left. Oh, hi Johnny. The only place or it's a safe house. It's where criminals go to stay low for a while. How old are you by the way, Johnny? Twelve years old and I've been eating out that place, that prison. This is my third time in here. Fair enough. What about you? The, yes, yesterday or the ne was the next day after that was my first day in here. So you are a newbie? Yeah. No wonder I've been seeing you around the place. It's small, so no wonder. Yeah. So, yeah. This is your safe house. Then my safe, safe house is downstairs. Okay, got it. So this is my safe house. Yeah, here. Whatever, here, I guess. If you need me, I'll be... Yeah, I know. Head to bed, wake up in the morning. in the morning push play sneak and then freezing and on the other side was once just an empty stretch of land and now contains a secondary mm. dock even in the back entire new quarters have been added both on the right and left side, and just massive changes all over the top, converting what was once hey, pretty barren, hey. underutilized rooftop into additional housing for the more sketch of Windhelm. And the brilliance of this mod is that all of the new areas are almost indistinguishable from the quality of the vanilla game. Mm. Someone who's never played Skyrim can walk in some of these new quarters and not even realize that these areas were not in the base game. I mean, this guy's name is Here's the Hist. That's a fantastic Argonian name. If Scout's Many Marshes is real, why wouldn't you believe that this guy also exists in the game as well? He fills these places with things that are actively going on to make them feel actually alive and not just empty areas meant to fill space. For example, you'll find Sydney, who has some problems with Vikings that you can take care of for her. It's a neat little quest meant to flesh out the area and add content in these places. And these NPCs are usually up to something. And they're, uh... Usually danger worshippers, especially the ones that live at the top, but that's fine. It's very immersive. It really gets me in the atmosphere of Skyrim. There's also a house that you can buy. It's description. It would be best to not have expectations. And the guy's response when you buy it also reflects that as well. Why would I mean, of course. Of course. He makes things more interesting than just buying a house. And there are just so many interesting things to see here. 
like the old Temple of Talos, the restored arena, the Cult of Sun, historic additions that add to the rich history of Windhelm while giving you buffs that are appropriate. I mean, nothing is sacred. Even the inside of the Palace of Kings has been modified to include libraries, not to mention a multitude of quests, including discovering that everybody on the Eastern Gate, which again is a newly added area, has all been slaughtered. You break through some cracked ice, you find some disturbing ass shit, maybe even get jump scared a little bit. There's even new kids, you know, you, you're, you're, you're son. Bully her, you know, it's funny. Okay, bullying kids is not great. Bullying your son for a helmet? Yes, it's pretty funny. There's so much cool shit to do and see here, it really feels like free expansion. And that's it for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed all the mods. Make sure to hit that like button. I really appreciate guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Looking for some cheap games? Check out Jeet. is barely an RPG. Maybe back in the day it was, but some of those elements have been compromised. Today, we're gonna make the ultimate RPG Skyrim, bringing in those elements that we all know and love from our favorite RPGs to make Skyrim an actual RPG. Like AFK Arena, an exciting idol RPG game with a unique art style. The Demon Invasion looms as- Use this bonus code at Because it's included- Because if- of Lorcan, free form alt is no longer prisoner, but do you want or as weak as you want. In time, a barbarian, thirty-three percent in forest. Go back. In combat, and then our mods is that you can go back, and it's called the realm of. You're gonna call yourself a role-playing game. It is that die Beth main menu. You know, for a geek, but mostly associated with Italiano Resistance, I mean, Renaissance code M-I-S-E-V-J-6-6-Y-I, the main menu. You know, for a game yeah, that's yeah. predicated on replayability and playing from different perspectives, classes, and decisions, why are there no character slots? Of all the games that should not have character slots, Skyrim should be the last. They done fucked up and they know it because it's included in Special Edition and Fallout 4. This mod brings it to Skyrim Legendary Edition, allowing you to sort by character and even displaying additional information like character level and location, so that I can easily find out that Asa is at Die Beth's Lock and at least as level 14 and at because if you're gonna call yourself a role-playing game, I better not have to scroll through thousands of save games just to find the right character. Another major component of RPGs is being whoever you want to be, starting wherever you want to start, and just in general doing whatever the fuck you want to do. And this mod in Bonnie's doing whatever the fuck you want to do. And it's called the Realm of Lorcan, Freeform Alternate Start. This is a fresh out the oven alternate start mod that's not live another life because let's be honest, we're probably already tired of hearing about it. And it gives you an unprecedented amount of freedom to start your character and a fantastical world space that you'd only find in an RPG. Also, you start out naked, which is very cool if you have certain mods. And her hands are tied behind her back and that's really fucking kinky. And Lorcan, if you don't know, is essentially in the Elder Scrolls lore god. This is his realm and this is where he created you which is very lore friendly. And that is also why your default name is no longer Prisoner, but Chazarine, because lore, all right? F you. What's different about this and other alternate start mods is that you can literally do anything you want, except apparently kill these guys, because they're invincible. God damn it, why didn't you tell me that sooner? You can't kill everybody else, though. Good afternoon. Huh. And what I mean by that is you can start out as powerful as you want, or as weak. Pause it. Let's go to the fucking beach. Why not? Let's go to the fucking beach, dude. Let's go chill down here at the pier. Not at the fucking beach, I mean the fucking pier, dog. Like, here, buddy. Let's go chill. Down here, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let's go chill down here. Yeah, buddy. 
as you want. Head to the armory and pick up a Daedric mace for all you want. Still too weak for you, pick up Smoke a shield leaves. of Lorcan and battle axe die. of Lorcan. Literally become a barbarian with physical damage resistance, regenerate health faster, regenerate health during combat, mm. and then be an archer with additional slow time when aiming, attacking 10% faster, bows doing 10% more damage. At the same time, a barbarian archer, mage, whatever the f you want. On the contrary, if you're looking for a challenge, you can give yourself crippling curses, like Curse of the Slow Learner, which gives you minus 33% skill experience gain, or Curse of Generosity, where you sell your items for half of their regular amount. You can loot as many spells as you want, like this one. Or loot none at all, and start with absolutely nothing, not even flames or heal. Give yourself a blessing of your choice, or not. Give yourself a standing stone, or not. Get as much alcohol as you want from the refilling cask of mead. Practice pickpocketing and start with three Nern Weaver Skuma. Choose your mage's robe. Start with bees in your inventory or not. And once you're all done, you can activate a stone and start anywhere from the Riften Forest to Blackreach. And that, my friends, level of freedom and choice that you won't even find in most RPGs. Now that we have a unique character with a unique start and the ability to find said character in our menus, we can now give her a voice set using player voice sets. You simply open up the MCM and click plug in active. Um, okay, I'll start, but like... Leave the menu. I'm not gonna start while you watch, pervert. And then choose your voice. Yes, you can actually choose a male voice as a female. And maybe be a transgender. Much RPG, such woke wow. Closing the menu gives you a quick sample of what your character might sound like. I'm going to kill you. And now your character will actually talk. Gold? Silver? Gems, maybe? Only one way to find out. When things happen, and when you enter combat, you won't be slaying people like some kind of silent psycho. But MXR, talking characters is the antithesis of roleplay and imagination. Come on, let's see what you're made of. That's what ruined Fallout for me. F*** you, Nora. You know what? You actually might be right about that one. Congratulations. Congra you actually could be right for once. Give up while you still can! But I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying to give you as many mod options as possible. Now that you can hear your character and really get into that RPG mood, it's time to hear your character in her own head. Using the mod, your own thoughts. The mod that changes all these second person notifications to first person. For example, fast travel to Dragon's Reach is now, am I ready to travel to Dragon's Reach? Where it's no longer the game asking you, it's you asking yourself. From, do you want to move your marker, remove it to, what should I do with this marker? From the game telling me what I can and cannot do to, myself telling you, I, I, my grammar really sucks. And other small things like requires key to, this lock requires a key, as if I'm talking to myself. And even quick saving, like, I don't know what the f quick saving is. I'm a talking cat person from elsewhere. I don't f***ing know what that is. Progress quickly scroll with- Ah, yes, I am so fucking immersed right now. Finish and name your character. What's a character? I'm not a character. What is this, novel or video game? I am a lizard person from something Marsh. Black Marsh. I know my shit. Is this who I want to be? I ask that to myself every day as a big tittied mod reviewer. Now that we can choose who we want to be, ask if this is what we want to be, now it's time to talk to other people and have the freedom to say and do whatever we want. Using the mod Immersive Speechcraft, the mod that gives you almost a dozen additional dialogue options. Lovely weather we're having. It can't be helped. Or even pranks like your boots are untied. <laughs> got him. Got him. And even an option I've never seen before. Because I was holding a bee from the realm of Lorcan, I could tell Sadia that there's a bee in your armor. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sadia, I'm sorry. Ouch! Ow! No, this is not what I fucking want. Not quite good enough, are you? Wow, that is so f***ing next level RPG. I walked in and in, set a bee on a girl, and murdered her. That's not role playing. I don't know what is. You can even give your wife who gifts. Will you sleep with me? Will you sleep with me now, please? Please? Isolde? Isolde, don't leave. Don't leave! It's my fault! You can even give them commands, although I'm not exactly sure what the point of that is because they never do anything for anyone. Not for you. Not for anyone. I guess you can get them to stand in traps. Which is pretty fucked up to be honest. You can even start to fight. Your mother's a horker. Really? Really gonna stab me over that? 
You can even rob guards in broad daylight. Hand over your valuables now. Well, I'm probably dead, but that, that is role playing. I'm dying for role playing! Ugh. Or steal from the rich 1% of Skyrim, such as Nazim. And what are you gonna do about it, huh? Oh, he's going for the axe. Guards, guards, there's trouble! Oh, oh. yeah, that's right, Nazim. That's right. Fucking run. Run, you bi- oh, oh, okay, wow, that's the most immersive thing I've ever seen in my life. You can even ask your one itis to assist you. You saw that that's, that's the wrong way. Even the shopkeeper, in a true role-playing game, why shouldn't you be able to ask for the assistance of others? It's only realistic what shopkeeper would stand idly by. The only logical thing to do is assist the mugger in killing the guy that got mugged. Thank you very much. Very immersive. <laughs> I got mugged. Thank you very much. Very immersive. I convinced the grandma and my crush to kill a member of the bourgeoisie. <laughs> That's role playing, fellas. Jokes aside, though, all of this is dependent on your speech skill. So, unless you're at 100 speech, most of this won't actually happen. As a level 1, you're probably not going to be able to convince the owner of a shop to kill the person you just mugged in public, in broad daylight, in front of the guards. This mod does have a little bit of quirks. But overall, the idea is pretty cool. You should be able to say basically whatever you want to say to anybody if you wanted to in a role-playing game. And since you're going to be talking to a lot of people, why not maximize the role playability of your UI using the mod easy to see dialogue menu. A mod that essentially allows more text to show up per line and more lines in general while highlighting the one you're currently selecting in yellow. And rather than scrolling and choosing the wrong dialogue option as we all have probably experienced before in Skyrim since it's kind of buggy, you can even just use the page up and page down keys without ever having to move your mouse. You can even change the font in real time from Oblivion to Marwin to Viking but everybody knows the real choice is Daedric. If you can't read that then you're not a true Elder Scrolls fan. Please, get on my level. I have almost 4,000 hours in Skyrim, and I'm highly proficient in Daedric and even the Dragon language, so f*** you. And everything is customizable, even the subtitles. Right? My personal favorite settings, which obviously is only usable by true fans of the Elder Scrolls, get on my level, has everything in Daedric. Giant pink subtitles, name on the side, red, vertical shadows in Daedric. Square bullet points, blue highlights, time in the corner, and no tab. No wait, f*** it, the tab is still there, at least it's Daedric. And the mod just puts more emphasis on dialogue, which is obviously a huge component of RPGs. You know it's serious when he puts the time in the top right corner, just so you're aware of how much time you're wasting and contemplating the dialogue options, which is obviously great for hardcore RPGs players such as I, who contemplate all the possible ramifications and moral dilemmas each option provides. Now, what about combat? Besides having really good combat, most RPGs allow you to gauge the power level of NPCs and enemies, something that Skype doesn't really do. You kind of just have to guess what level people are and hope for the best, and that's why I got Display Enemy Level, a mod that'll hopefully dissuade me from breaking the law in the future. Holy shit, so I'm level 1 and they're level 20. Alan Sith, though, is definitely the weakest leader of Skyrim. And if I ever get the opportunity to assassinate one of them, this mod will allow me to make an informed decision. Ever wonder who the most powerful Thomas the Tank Engine train is? Percy's got 9 to 5, but Gordon. Oh my god, Gordon. Jesus Christ, 1955? Whoa, apparently Red Thomas is 3071, which is officially the highest HP I've ever seen in Skyrim. Even the Ebony Warrior at level 80 is no match for Red Thomas. And that's very useful information to know. Another massive component of RPGs is being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want, without having to follow a specific path. If I want to fight the Ebony Warrior at level 1, I should be able to fight the Ebony Warrior at level 1. I don't need no game telling me when I need to do shit. That's why I like RPGs. And so I got the mod, timing is everything, or timing is nothing, right? And so I set the Ebony Warrior to just always be there. I ain't afraid of him. He's a little bitch. He doesn't even know what's coming to him. There's a B in your armor. I saw you do that. Oh! Oh, he's so good, he couldn't, he, he didn't even fall for that. But have you talked to me at speech 100? <laughs> oh, wow, he's black. Guess that's why they call him the Ebony Warrior. <laughs> that's right. Running away from a level one, little bitch. Give oh. up like you still can. Oh, God. No, no, please, please, I was winning. 
I was gonna win. What if I told you Durak can come tell you about the Dawn Guard when you want him to come tell you about Dawn Guard? What if I told you that you no longer had to run and avoid the cultists like they were gonorrhea? And what if you don't want Heartfire to begin so early at the mere level of nine? Which apparently at that point you're supposed to be the most well-known, accomplished individual in all of Skyrim. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. I certainly didn't feel like that at level 9. I felt like that at level 1. I beat the Ebony Warrior, for God's sakes. But what if I don't feel like waiting till level 36 to get my Death Brand armor? What if I feel like it's unimmersive that things are locked until a certain level when really nothing's changed? Do things when you want to do them. That should be the hallmark yeah. of RPGs. And you know what else is important? Factions and reputation. There's a great reputation mod that has to deal with karma, making good and bad decisions, and living with the consequences. But I'm stupid, so I just did the faction mod. And it's actually a really simple mod. It tells you what factions you're part of and what rank you are, which holds your thane in, and which Daedric gods you're champion of. I was actually hoping it would do more factions like the Forsworn, but then I remembered another mod off of Lover's Lab called the Skyrim Utility mod, which has essentially all of the factions you're part of. Unfortunately, it doesn't even know what factions those factions are, and apparently the ranks can go up to 127. And you can even change them, which technically is cheating, which is not very cool. The mod also allows you to tie anybody up in a variety of bondage positions. Just thought you should know that, or if, if you're interested at all in that. So now to wrap up possibly one of the longest videos I've ever made. What is the meat and potatoes of any RPG game? Meeting new people, learning about their backstory, and making the tough decisions. And what better mod to do that with than interesting NPCs? Mod that at this point has over 250 fully voiced and taking some notes for the next Elder Scrolls because we need some more RPG in our lives. Thank you so much. Uh. What movie should I watch? Uh. What movies fucking what? Hmm. What movies should I fucking watch, dude? Mysterio. Let's watch Spider Man, no way home. Good morning, you may find this video disturbing. I managed to send the elemental back to the dimensional rift, but I don't think I'm going to make it off this bridge alive. Spider Man attacked me for some reason. He has an army of weaponized drones, Stark technology. He's saying he's the only one who's going to be the new Iron Man, no one else. Are you sure you want to commence the drone attack? There will be significant casualties. Do it! Execute them all! We have another drone. Devastating attack in London have emerged. 
For more, we go now to Joint Intelligence Headquarters. Authorities just a short while ago confirmed that the deadly drones used in the London attack were designed by Stark Industries. Federal agents, open up! Federal agents, you stay here! Department of Damage Control, we have a warrant for the arrest of Peter Parker. You know the Fourth Amendment? Sure. Unreasonable search and seizure? Get in here, guys, let's go! I didn't kill Quentin Beck, the drones did. Okay? The drones that are yours. No, well... Huh. I just... I needed to talk to you, and I know you're on your way to the airport, I just... MJ Watson and Ned Lees are the two smartest people I've ever met in my entire life, and I'm the dumbest person because... I let them help me, but if I didn't let them help me, then millions of people would have died. So please don't, don't let MIT be dumb like me. MIT is dumb? No, I'm saying don't let MIT be dumb. I mean, like, the, the dumber version. <sighs> if the school sees me fighting these crazy monsters, then... Hey, watch your mouth. I'm sorry. You're seriously still talking about... Huh? 
okay? Superhero, do your job. Hey, what did you just do? This. Fuck college. 
<laughs> Lots of birthday parties. <clears throat> hey. Oh. One shot, send them here, move on, you're welcome. Get to work. Sir? <sighs> now what? I know this is my mess and I swear to you that I'll fix it, but I'm gonna need some help. Oh. I can't believe I'm in the sanctum sick. It's horrible. Hmm. So, how did you know you were made up of magic? Because my, my Nana says that we have it in our family, and sometimes I get these tinglings in my hands. Should talk to your physician. Peter! Hey! 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 I'm so sorry for dragging you in this. You just gotta help me find these guys. You, you don't have to apologize, okay? You gotta say There's another joy in. So, how did the bad guys get here? You screwed off a spell trying to get you into college. Wait, what? I thought it was, it was magic? MIT lady you saved. Uh, no, that was after. Let's, let's just focus on the good news, okay? No, let's just focus on the bad news. As of now, you have detected zero multiversal trespassers, so get on your phones, scour the internet, and Scooby-Doo this shit! <laughs> You're telling us what to do, even though it was your spell that got screwed up, meaning that all of this is kind of your mess. You know, I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby-Doo this shit. You can work in the Undercroft. The Undercroft? Badass. Yeah. Guys, isn't about this whole spell thing? It's totally okay. Hey, really? Uh, yeah. I mean, I get it. You were just trying to fix things, and so maybe just run it by us next time, you know? That way, when you're thinking, hey, I'm about to do something that could break the universe, we could, like, help you. <laughs> Workshop something, or brainstorm ideas. Deal. Dad? Oh, dude, I, I don't care. It's seriously not a big deal. Um, oh! A torture rack. That is a Pilates machine. That is... The crypt. Okay, so we get the rest of the guys. Huh. We zap them. Dr. Magic will send them back. And when we get into MIT, round of stale donuts, my treat. Let's catch some multiverse, man. Hey! Who the hell are these two? These are my friends. This is MJ and uh, this is Ned. Hello. Uh, I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. Ah. <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? Oh, is that a dinosaur? Huh. <laughs> Bring it by the shelter and I'll get it out. No, 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 mate. We gotta find these guys first. We'll finish your mission and then come by. We're having a canned food drive. Uh, sure. Uh, I, I got one, I got one, I got one. Oh, mate, I gotta go. I gotta okay, go. Okay, okay. I mean, you can take the guy out of the chair, but you can't take the chair out of the guy. What'd you find? Uh, there's uh, a disturbance near a military research facility outside of the city, and witnesses say that they saw a monster flying through the air. It's gotta be the guy. It's on the bridge, right? It's impossible. You know him, don't you? On the bridge, you said his name. Norman Osborne. Brilliant scientist. Military research. But he was greedy. Misguided. What happened? We tired of your questions, boy! Okay. I gotta go. Where am I going? It can't be him. Why? Because Norman Osborne died years ago. So either we saw someone else, or you're flying out into the darkness to fight a ghost. Or could be another him from another universe. Think about, about that. Motivo. 
So it could be another him from another reality. But still alive. Keep an eye on or the streets, that reality is still in the past. You know what I fucking mean. I it's confusion, I, I know. I know it's fucking confusion.